Hello everyone, it's Nikki. Um, I hope you're all doing good. I just kind of wanted to give you guys a heads up as to what's going on with me. Um, I have totally and completely screwed up these journals, you guys. Totally. So I'm going to show you so you don't make the same mistakes I did. I made them way too big. <laughs> like, way too big. Like, this is the Victorian Ladies Journal. Like, it doesn't even close. It's not even going to work. It just doesn't. And I I bound it together. I thought it was going to be okay, and it's not. And the same thing happened with, uh, which other one did I do? I did the Country Journal. I didn't even put them together yet, you guys. I just, I bound, I put the journal together, like, this one's not so bad. That's not bad. This is doable. Like, no, this is the fairy one. So we can kind of put that together. I can decorate this cover and put it together and it will be okay. But this one, oh, way too big. And now I have to, like, I don't know, you guys. It's just been a roller coaster ride for me lately, for real. Like, I, would, I hope you guys are having a better time than I am. I don't know. It's just a bad weekend with work and everything. And then I put this together and it's not working and I don't know what to do. So I'm going to take it apart and put some pages out and redo it. So I'll do that with you guys now. So I uh, uh, hope you guys are all doing good. I think I said that like five times now. But I do. But um, yeah, I was like, just had it. Oh, look at that too. I put that upside down. What is wrong with me? I don't even know. Like, what? No, I need to find the middle. But, um, I've just been having a bad time at work. I don't know. I think, hold on one second. Let me get some scissors. Okay, are you guys there? Is it working? Okay. Um, anyways, just having a bad time at work. Um, I already told you guys about me getting a job at the library and not taking it because I didn't want to work Saturdays because I promised my you know my boss at the hotel like I didn't want to leave him shorthanded so I didn't take the job at the library right and I don't know who's watching this it could be people that I'm working with that are watching this but I'm just gonna be honest like it's been bad there like I I don't even want to go to work anymore it's that bad like there's so much drama and so much crap and I'm not a mean person I don't think I'm a mean person but I'm telling you what, like, with all the stuff that's going on at work, I I was just having a really bad weekend. It was not even cool. So, well, I won't talk about people I work with because I don't know if they watch this or whatever. But um, it was just really bad. And But I will tell you guys one thing. I had a... So I work at a hotel, you guys know that, right? So, you know, when third parties come through the hotel, like Expedia and stuff like that, you know, we honor those reservations, whatever. But a lot of times they are so, they do not communicate with their guests at all. They'll take their payment and let it go. If the guest has an issue, they don't change it. They just let us handle it, right? So. This is probably like a negative Nancy video, so if you guys aren't into that, <laughs> you probably want to get out now because it's like, I don't know, I just feel like I'm venting and I just needed to. So, anyways, I'm at the front desk and I'm in uh, Friday nights, we are sold out. Like, we, where we are, the tourist thing is real. Like, we sell out every Friday and Saturday, even if there's, like, 10 million hotel rooms around us, right? We always sell out. And, um, all right, so, and the manager, he gets a bonus if he sells out and doesn't have any vacancies. So, we always try to sell out, you know? And, um, so when we have third parties come through... You know, we expect them to be there. There's a, a no cancellation policy for them. Not for us, you know, but whatever. And anyways, long story short, uh, I can't talk and do this at the same time. I don't know why. But 
so somebody was supposed to come in Friday and they didn't come in Friday and supposedly they told Expedia that they were not coming in. Well, Expedia did not relay that message to us at all. And so their card was charged, you know? Well, the Expedia card was charged. We don't really have the guest card if it's a third party reservation. So the Expedia card is charged. And uh, so that means that the guest, you know, they paid through Expedia and Expedia took their money and whatever. Well, the guest is calling us and they're like really mad and they're saying, you know, we told Expedia we weren't gonna be there and we didn't wanna be making this payment. And, and I'm like, you know what? Um, that's between you and them. That's, that's a third party reservation. I have nothing to do with that. You know what I mean? So they had called like three times on Saturday and then Expedia called about three times too. And they were yelling at us saying that we shouldn't have charged the guest or charged their card because the guest wasn't going to show up. And I'm just like, I was so done with that whole thing. I was like, not very nice. And I usually am never like that and never yell. I always let people walk all over me and I don't really say anything. But this was like a pretty legit case of we didn't do anything wrong and... I'm not gonna deal with your problems because you are the one that caused this kind of thing, right? So I, um, I was, and at this point in time, I had already had somebody yell at me. Like this guy came in and like, like I said, I'm not gonna say anything about people I work with, whatever. Their, his rooms weren't assigned, right? They were assigned not adjoining, but they were supposed to be adjoining. And I was trying to fix his reservation. He was being a really, he was being a really big jerk. And I, the computers went down, so I couldn't see what rooms were taken and what ones rooms weren't. And so I had to go through the arrivals, and those are the only way that I could see that there was nobody in those rooms, right? So I went and did that. Anyways, long story short, okay, again, I got, I was getting screamed at by this guy, and I was trying my best to help him as much as I could. And it wasn't something that I didn't even have anything, it wasn't even my fault. Like, I, you know what I mean? So, after that, after he uh, went to his rooms then, then the third party called again, and they were, like, yelling at me, saying we shouldn't have charged the guest, and they told us, and blah, blah, blah. And I was so mean, you guys. I'm not like this ever. I'm so not like this. And I was like, <laughs> this is what I told him. I said, you know what? You have one job. One job. You make reservations for people. If you can't even get that right, then I don't even want to hear it. Because we were a full house last night, which would have been Friday. We could have made money on that room. We're not, you know, we wouldn't have taken a cancellation from anyone else. You know, it's your fault. I'm not dealing with this. You're going to have to tell the guests that it's you that caused the problem, not us. We didn't do anything. We took the reservation. No one called us and canceled. Whatever. But I was like, then I looked up and I was... There was a whole bunch of people staring at me and I, I, I felt so stupid. I was like, oh my goodness, like I don't, I don't usually do that stuff. But I was so mad, you guys, so mad. Like, you can really take so much crap, do you know? You really can. And then you just get mad and it just all blows up. So then there was a whole bunch of other stuff going on too, like, I don't know, it was just, crazy you guys and I, I feel so bad because I came home and I ranted to Ken I ranted to Bean I ranted to everyone that would listen and and you know ranting that doesn't really get you anywhere it just you voice how angry you are right so and then okay so then yesterday um because that was Saturday so I heard a bunch of crap about somebody I work with not being very nice to other people I work with and those people were gonna quit and I really like those other people because they really help and they do a good job so um the one person that I heard this stuff about I am not gonna say I'm not gonna say names if she sees this video then that's fine she got right in my face when I came in it was like 702 in the morning I got there at 7 and she got right in my face and was yelling at me about something, someone who was a no-show from the night before and they didn't check him in or something like that. 
and I wasn't even awake yet, you guys. I wasn't. And I was like, I don't even know. Just give me a second. So I don't know how to tell. And she's like, no, you can look right here. And she reached across me, grabbed the mouse, and right in front of me put me to a screen where you could see what was going on. But then I was like, they paid. So that means that they didn't just check them in. They didn't check them in. But they paid. They're here. That's what that means. So it was just so stupid, you guys. I was so mad. And I always, always, always help with uh laundry and stuff like i always do because i don't like to sit there and have time on my hands i just like to have stuff to do and i'm like i'm talking to you guys I'm not even doing anything <laughs> like i don't even know what to do with this because i don't want to put any of the pages out but um like i i don't i i always help with laundry i always do that because i don't i don't like to watch time go by and i i it's it's better for me to have something to do so i always help and i'm telling you what you guys i was i felt horrible but i did this to prove a point like she brought this person brought a whole bunch of pool towels for me to fold and stuff like that um you know like i always do and um i think i'm gonna take this one out because i don't think that's working out for it and i love that one though i don't know we'll fix this but um so she brought me a whole bunch of bull towels and put them on the desk behind me and stuff, you know. And I, I didn't fold them. I didn't fold them at all. I didn't, not even one. And everybody was, no one expects me to be that way, you know. So when they came in and there's all these towels and stuff like that, I'm just like, had to kind of explain it. Because sometimes you just get to that point where people will just walk all over you until you stand up for yourself, right? And I usually always let things go. I don't confront people. I don't get in people's faces. I don't, I just back away. You know what I mean? I just let it go. No, not this time. I'm not doing that because I didn't do anything wrong. And I don't know. I think it was just one of those times where I was just done. I couldn't deal with it anymore. I don't know. Do you guys think I'm a bad person because of that? Because I kind of feel like a bad person. But, oh my gosh. I'm like, you know, and then the people that I really like that I work with are going to quit because of her. I don't want that to happen because I like them, you know? And, and she's mean. Like, there's so many other times when she's yelled at me about stupid stuff. And I've just been trying to help customers, like... It has to do with customer service or something like that and she's absolutely no help and you know I just let it go I don't say anything I just let it go and I'm done with letting it go okay well thanks for listening everybody I'm so sorry I don't even know what I crafted today I didn't do anything I still have to figure out how I'm gonna make this journal smaller maybe i'll take some pages out because i really like all of them maybe i'll take some out and put them in a different journal just i don't know i don't, I don't know what i'm gonna do but i don't know thanks for listening everyone i'm so sorry if i'm a negative nancy i just need an event and you guys are awesome and you listen and i really appreciate that um so yeah, I'll let you know how this happened, how this goes. And I will show you a final flip through of all three journals and maybe the new one if I take pages out and make a whole another one from the extra pages or whatever. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you are all having a better week, a better day, a better time than I am right now. And um, I hope you don't judge me too harshly for what I said. I was just venting and like I said, it was, I mean, one of the girls I work with, she came in for a second shift on Saturday and I, she heard me yelling at the third party people. And she, I guess she told the lady that came in after her, she was like, yeah, Nikki was yelling at the third party people, but then her voice was like so sweet and kind. <laughs> I wasn't meaning for it to be sweet and kind. I was meaning for it to be like me. But anyways, so thank you.
thank you so much for watching i hope this doesn't make you guys not watch my channel and maybe this will be a thing where you can laugh and and yeah just be glad they don't <laughs> i guess that you don't work with me okay so just be glad you don't work with me okay guys all right i i will talk to all of you uh, hopefully i'll get another video put up this week and i will have all the journals put together and we will look through them then and i am so sorry i really didn't crap today so have a good day everyone thank you so much for watching